first item and second reading. Thank you very much, Madam Board. First, I am under the second reading. Draft ordinance number 2010, all zero five and ordinance establishing on the city annual code of 2010. Madam Chair, since I have explained during the committee report the uh, salient points, I think that we open this one for uh, discussion, deliberation before my final motion for its approval. Madam Chair. Motion for the city annual an ordinance establishing a long ago city animal code of 2010. Sponsored by Councillor Edwin Kian. Comments? Councillor Luigi. Thank you. Um, Councillor Kian, maybe we put here also, remember, uh, the owner of the dog, especially when somebody will meet a person, because the expense of the anti-lapse is kind of expensive, so at least there should be a responsibility from the part of the owner of the, owner of the dog and also the person being treated. Because if not, I mean, as you know, everybody's coming or always asking for assistance. So probably a responsibility of the dog owner should be put also para, at least along the next part of the ordinance. Para to be responsible and to take care of the dog. Compensation from owner and possessor of animal for their dedication. When the uh, injury sustained by the victim requires medical attendance or confinement for a certain number of days, the owner of the animal shall be required to pay for the loss of income of the victim during the period when he or she is not working. Tapos ito. Uh, basically, yun po yung uh, 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 kasagutan dun sa issue. Kasi na talagang during the public hearing, Marami talaga yung sabi na marami nag-aalaga ng aso na wala namang kakayahan na magbayad sa mga ganitong bagay. So kung sakaling wala silang kakayahan ayon dito sa penalty clause na ating ano, ay pwedeng unang-una meron na criminal aspect yung kung sakaling yan, may na-injure na tao. Pangalawa, base dito sa ordinance, pwede rin magkaroon ng, ng mga specific penalties. 